If you want to be among the best and highest paid in the multi-cloud and DevOps industry, you need to be on top of these five main trends in this industry in 2024. And the last one is the most shocking one that I have never spoken about that in here before. So if you want to find out, stay on this video until the end because it's going to be worth it. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, awesome. Welcome to the Cloud Bootcamp channel. My name is Joe Rodriguez. I'm founder of the Cloud Bootcamp. And after working for many years as a principal cloud architect in a big tech company in Silicon Valley, I'm now helping IT professionals mastering multi-cloud and DevOps to be among the best and highest paid. All right. And before we go to the content, just a quick note in here. If you want to master multi-cloud and DevOps and be among the best and high speed as well, I want to invite you to scan the QR code or click on the link in the description and book a call with us. We are going to talk to you and understand where you are professionally, and we're going to be able to you know, guide you so that you can learn those technologies and be among the best and high speed as well. Just scan the QR code and click the link in the description and we're gonna be very happy to speak with you, all right? So let's go back to the content now. First of all, I'm super excited that we are back to YouTube now. Uh, and 2023 was really intense year for us. We spent a lot of time in amazing projects. Uh, we grew up, our amazing team, put a picture in there editors, so that people can see it. So it was really, really awesome, right? However, even though we couldn't post a lot of videos in here on our YouTube channel, the Cloud Bootcamp as a company grew around 600% if compared to 2022, right? So that was really, really amazing. We have always heard you guys in here on the YouTube, you guys, you know, sharing your feedbacks, enjoying our contents and asking for more content like this. And discussing with my team, we decided to go back to, you know, start creating content for you guys in here on, on the YouTube as well. So I'm super excited that we are back. And by the way, go ahead and put on the comments if you're excited as well that we are back and make sure that you subscribe on our channel and give us a thumbs up so that we can feel supported by you as well, okay? So that is really, really cool. All right, awesome. So let's talk about those five different trends. Those are super exciting. And I decided to bring them based on a Forbes, on a few different Forbes articles so that you know that everything that I'm gonna mention in here is not only out of my mind, but it is actually data based on some researches, okay? Are you ready? All right, so let's go. So let's talk about the first trend in here, okay? So the first one in here is that, that multi-cloud is going to keep growing, okay? So as you can see in this Forbes article, it shows that multi-cloud usage is gonna grow from 76% to 85% during 2024, okay? And if you're new to multi-cloud, multi-cloud basically means uh, when a company uses cloud services from more than one cloud provider, right? And cloud providers could be AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, Oracle Cloud, you name it, okay? And it's very, very clear that uh, the IT professionals, the developers, the operation folks that master more than one cloud provider will have the access to a wider uh, range of opportunities than the IT professionals that, you know, just know a little bit of one of them, you know what I mean? So it's very, very important that you understand how the major cloud providers would work and master it, okay? That's gonna open up the doors for you, all right? The second trend is that the DevOps industry is going to keep growing as well, okay? So as you can see on this article, it shows that the DevOps market is gonna be worth $25.5 billion by 2028. So it's a big industry. And of course, that all the technologies that are inside of the DevOps ecosystem are going to keep growing as well. And one of them, for example, is the container orchestrating systems, right? So you know that the container orchestrator is uh, one of the most popular tools right now in the DevOps ecosystem that allows you to manage your applications based out of containers. And on one of the most popular ones is a Kubernetes, okay? Kubernetes is a popular container orchestrator. And then as you can see on this article, it shows that the usage of those orchestrators will keep growing as well, okay? So it's very important for you as a professional, as a developer, 
operations professional, DevOps engineer, whatever it is, it's very important that you understand Kubernetes and not only that, you understand how you can work with Kubernetes on the managed cloud services as well, like the AWS, EKS, the Azure Kubernetes service, the Google Kubernetes engine, and many more. Okay, just keep that in mind because you need to get this knowledge, all right? And the third one in here that I wanna share with you is the ascendance of serverless computing, okay? And this is one of the most exciting ones. Uh, and as you can see on those Forbes articles, it shows that the serverless computing is going to explode in the, ne the next few years, right? And the reason for that is very, very simple. Just one reason, cost reduction for the application, okay? So companies can save a lot of money by deploying serverless applications because truly when you use serverless applications, uh, the companies can pay only when the end users of the applications are using it. Okay. When it comes to the other types of architectures that you have, like uh, virtual machine-based architectures, even if they're running in the cloud, when you deploy those kind of architectures, even when the end users are not using your application, you're still paying for the compute time, for the execution time that those resources are running in the cloud. doesn't matter if they're sitting idle or not, you're paying for it. When it comes to serverless computing, you are not paying when a user or an end user is not using your application. It is truly pay as you go because you can pay only whenever your application is called and someone is doing something in that. This is really, really game changing, right? That's why I'm super excited about, you know, the serverless computing. And I think that it is going to explode even more in the next few years. And not only that, right? Many of the most modern applications that you see nowadays running uh, on the internet are actually 100% serverless, okay? And one of the most popular technologies that are available in the serverless ecosystem that you probably have heard about it is the AWS Lambda, right? So when the AWS Lambda, uh, the companies and you as a developer, for example, you can just upload the code of your application backend, for example, and AWS can handle everything else, right? You don't need to manage servers. You don't need to apply patches on virtual machines or anything like that. That is why it is so, so exciting, right? And by the way, recently, we have re-architected an application and look at those savings. Please put the graph Look at this graph. So this is uh, a graph that shows our AWS account for one of our applications that we recently re-architected. And we have actually uh, changed the architecture to be a 100% serverless application and look at the cost savings. We managed to reduce the cost more than 10 times if you compare with the uh, you know former architecture, which was not serverless, right? It is really, really amazing, isn't it? So that's why you as a developer, you need to master serverless so that you can really understand how to build modern and cost-effective applications in the cloud. And by the way, when I was looking at that, there was something that came into my mind, right? Because when it comes to serverless, if you don't need to manage infrastructure, I was kind of thinking about that. Is that the end of the IT infrastructure professionals, right? Because if you don't need to manage infrastructure anymore to deploy serverless applications, why do we need to have infrastructure professionals? So this is something a little bit uh, controversial that I, I'm going to you know, create another video for you. By the way, let me know if you want to get a video on this. Okay, the future of the infrastructure profession, I can talk about that, but that is definitely something that you need to be aware of, especially myself. I, you know, came from infrastructure background as well, so it's important for you to know it, okay? And the fourth trend in here is cloud security, right? It's all about security. So as you can see, security is always top priority in the C-level minds, and it's not going to change in 2024, okay? So when it comes to security, you need to make sure that you have proper cloud security across every single layer, coming from the infrastructure layer all the way to the application layer. You need to make sure that your infrastructure and application are really safe, okay? Because think about that, right? So if you don't have a good security in place, what's going to happen is uh, you're going to end up deploying infrastructures that are not safe. You're going to end up creating applications that are not safe, that can lead to you know, data leaks, 
vulnerabilities, and many other hassles that could create a lot of problems for the businesses, for the reputation of the companies, and for you, for your reputation as well as a cloud professional, right? So you need to make sure that you really understand about security. And for you to understand about security, you also need to have a good cloud foundational knowledge, right? You need to understand the foundation, uh, you know, the core services, because if you don't know this, you're going to likely to end up creating uh, environments and applications that are not safe. Not because you're doing this intentionally, but because you don't have the knowledge, okay? So make sure that you do get a lot of exposure on the cloud services, uh, especially on the foundational ones, understanding how you can integrate those services to your applications, to your infrastructure uh, in a proper and safe way, okay? So knowledge is king, okay? And of course, hands-on experience is much more than that, all right? And the last trend you hear that I wanna mention is one of the most shocking ones from all times that I want to mention and you need to know, and I've never spoke about that before, and you need to be aware of that and the impact that's gonna have on your career. I don't know if you're following what's happening in the artificial intelligence industry, but the AI is here and it is here to stay. What's happening right now is there is a sub-niche of AI called generative AI, that allows the companies to be way more productive and to create better products and services, and that is changing the industry completely. Imagine if a company could use the same technology from ChatGPT to, you know, talk to their data and to, you know, help customers to figure out issues quicker than uh, from the traditional ways that are doing nowadays, right? That is the impact that the generative AI is having right now. Even in a software creation process, software development and engineering process, there are many companies leveraging AI to write code, right? So it basically shows a great impact in the industry right now, but not only that, right? So if you look at this Forbes article, you see that AI as a service is a really, really big trend right now as well. Because think about that. If the companies are developing applications and hosting those applications on the cloud providers using their cloud infrastructure, and the companies are looking to develop or to integrate AI features on those applications as well, what's gonna happen now is the companies are going to start looking to how they can integrate those AI services to their applications as well. And in order for them to integrate those services, uh, the developers, the IT professionals, and everybody that is going to work on those projects uh, need to understand how the AI technology would work so that they could assist those companies on those new initiatives, right? That's why the AI as a service is so, so trendy right now, and you should learn it. When it comes to AI as a service, we are talking about the AI services that are available in the cloud providers as well, but not only that. The companies are looking for people that really understand how to integrate their applications to the most modern generative AI technologies available out there, like the large language models from you know, OpenAI and many other vendors, how they could integrate those technologies into their application. So that's really a awesome opportunity for you, if you're a developer, to learn this and to help the companies uh, deliver artificial intelligence powered application, right? Which is really, really awesome. And the last thing is that you need to understand that the AI is here and it is here to stay. And you need to get ready to understand how you can become more productive by using those technologies, right? Because the truth is whoever doesn't adapt to those technologies and, you know, doesn't evolve with that, it's really sad to disappear in the next few years. So you need to understand how those technologies would work and leverage them to be more productive and to be better at work rather than just saying, or thinking that it is going to replace your job, okay? Because AI itself will not replace your job. You're gonna be replaced by someone that knows how to use AI. That's the key, okay? So um, make sure that you understand that because that is really, really critical. And by the way, if you want to learn more about generative AI, put on the comments. Let me know if you want to learn a little bit more about that. I can, you know, create some videos in the future if you want to learn more about generative AI because this is really, really the future, guys.
Okay. All right, cool. So those are the main uh, trends that I wanted to share with you. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about all of that that I just covered in here. And by the way, just last thing in here, if you want to master those technologies, multi-cloud DevOps and learn all of that and be among the best in high speed as well, just, you know, scan the QR code or click on the link on the description and book a call with us because we should be able to help you with that. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.